Hey guys, I wanted to share that sometimes we think that what we have is not good enough because we see others have more. It, it could be material, it could be money, it could be anything, right? Even love, even friendship. Sometimes we don't know the value of what we have, right? What I mean by that is, I'll give you guys an example. My sister would, um, they would give her some money, right? Sometimes they would give her more than a dollar, right? So sometimes they would give her about $5 or $10. And then sometimes what we would get, the bigger kids would get, would be like a dollar or so, right? So I never understood that until now, right? Until now is when I'm, I have my husband and my son. And of course, with time, with years, you start learning so many things and seeing so many things that blow your mind. It teaches you so many things about your life and how to value your life and how to value what you have today. Not tomorrow, but today, right? And of course, not to live in the past, right? Take your experiences from your past and bring them with you to your future, to today, because they will teach you things. You weren't, you weren't put in this world to go through these things and not learn things from it, right? You weren't put in this world to go through a struggle and conquer that struggle and get through that struggle to be nothing, to not learn from it, right? So take those lessons and bring them with you. Carry them with you as lessons, not as tragedies, not as mistakes. Carry them with you as lessons. She used to get more than a dollar. I would get about a dollar. I would try to trade it. I would try to tell her, hey, you know, a dollar is four quarters. It's more than, than five, a $5 bill. She didn't know that a $5 bill was bigger than $1 bill or $2, right? She would just see the $2. So to them, it was more than $5, right? Because a $5 bill is a single bill, right? So I would try to tell her, hey, that's more than $5, right? If that were me, and I would say that to her now, I would keep my dollar bill. I would take my dollar bill. Sometimes in life, you don't always get the full benefit. You don't always, you're not always going to be born into the family that has everything. You're not always going to have your mom and dad. You're not going to be lucky. Some people are not lucky to have a mom and dad who are good to them. Some people are not lucky to have a relationship that's perfect. Remember, no relationship is perfect, but you're not some people are not lucky. Some people are sitting by themselves right now. Some people are going home to families that are broken. Some people are struggling because they don't have enough money. Some, some people are happy. They're lucky. Some people are born into a life that their parents are millionaires, billionaires, celebrities. Some people don't have that luck. Some people have to suffer to get to where they are today. Some people have to work hard. Some people have to sacrifice, right? So many things for the people they love, for their families, for themselves. Some people don't have the opportunities that some of us have, right? My example with the dollar bill and the $5 bill. My sister got a $5 bill. I got a dollar bill. I choose now to keep my dollar bill. Sometimes it will be hard for you. It will take time for you. It will be a longer wait. It'll be a longer period of time until you, you reach your $5 bills, right? Sometimes it'll take longer, but when something is given to you, as those five dollar bills it's easier to to have it to waste it to not know the value of that of the value of 
how it is to earn your $5 bill, right? When it's just given to you. When you have to work a dollar at a time, you understand, you know the pain, you know the struggle on what it is to get to those, to reach that $5 bill, right? You know the sweat, the time, the heartache, the struggle that it took to get there. So you are going to value that more than when it's given to you. That is why I would choose the dollar bill because I would rather learn the sacrifice, go through the sacrifice, be in the sacrifice. So I will be, I will be able to value that more and I would wanna hold on to it more than spend it right away because I don't know the background of how hard it is to get that $5 bill, of how hard it is to have that relationship with someone I don't know the struggle if it's given, if it's just thrown at me. I wanna work for it. I want them to work for my heart. I want them to work for my love. I don't just wanna give it away. Just like you wouldn't want them to just give it to you, of course not. Of course, if, you, if it's given to you, okay, fine. Take it and run with it. But know that there's a value behind all of that. Money, parenting, um, conquering something you want, working out, um, even the relationship you would have with God. He doesn't just give it to us. He makes us work for it. He makes us see his sacrifice. He carried that cross. He stood tall. He struggled. He cried. He felt the pain. But after that, he was, he's, he's beautiful. His love is, is special. And today, that's what I wanna share with you guys. I wanna share that with you. Because sometimes we don't know the value of the things that we have. We don't know, we don't know behind the scenes of what it takes for someone to work and go and then come home and then do it again and again. We don't know what every person does, as my husband doesn't know what I do all day at home. I don't know what he does at work. I just know he gets home and he's tired and he'll wake up like nothing the next day. And to me, I value that dollar. I value that time that is spent with me. I value the moments that we have together as a family. I value everything. I, I appreciate, I'm trying to take for granted, of course, we're not perfect. We forget these things and that is why I'm sharing this with you guys. And that is why it'll be here. So you can come back to it when you're feeling like you're taking things for granted. Like I said, we're not perfect and sometimes we do it. And I'm guilty of it too. And sometimes we don't appreciate the little things that are given to us. Such as a kiss, one kiss, oh, it's just one. One dollar accumulates. With time, you will reach your five dollars. One kiss accumulates. With time, you will reach your five kisses or much more. With time, you will reach your vacation. The sacrifices accumulate and those sacrifices are much more valued than when something is just given to you. Remind that to yourself. Remind that to your loved ones. Teach that to your kids so they know the value. Sometimes kids are lucky to grow into a family, to be born into a family who offers them kindness, love, money, material things. They don't know what comes behind that. They don't know the value that you put in and your spouse put in. But teach them that. Make them work hard for it. Show them that Behind all that, there's somebody that's making that happen with hard work, sweat, tears, struggles. Single moms, I know you're out there, single fathers, parents. Teach that to your kids, that you're doing it all alone and it's hard. 
but that you can do it. And it is a beautiful thing to conquer that, to teach that to your kids. Don't forget about that. Anyways, guys, before I start blabbering away, I'll see you guys on the next one. I hope you guys enjoyed this little small talk with me. I throw these out once in a while. And um, if you guys do like these and want more of these, please feel free to let me know down in the comments below. Feel free to let me know what you guys are thinking. If it's not for you, that's fine. What I do, what I think is not for everyone. That's for me and for others who I can relate to and who can relate with me. So if it's not for you, that's fine with me. There's thumbs down, there's thumbs up, hit the like, all right? And don't forget to subscribe, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Remember to always be yourself and stay true to yourself. Be open, have a word with your kids, have a word with your spouse, make it happen. All your sacrifices, your tears, your struggles, something beautiful will come, okay? You're not alone. You have a lot of opportunities. You have a lot of places you can get help from. You have a lot of people that you may not know care about you, but they do. Reach out to the people who love you, care about you. I'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys. Peace.